in this video i'm going to talk about the fundamentals of dc circuits part 2 first of all let us discuss what is resistance and resistivity and what is the relationship between both first of all the resistance of an electrical conductor depends upon these four factors and the factors are length of the conductor cross sectional area of the conductor the type of the material and the temperature of the material so now what is the relationship the relationship is that r is equal to rho l by a where r is the resistance of the conductor rho is the resistivity l is the length and a is the area now the unit of rho which is resistivity is ohm meter resistance is directly proportional to the length and is inversely proportional to area also the resistivity will remain same for a basic conductor an important point for all the good conductors of electricity the value of resistivity will be low that means resistance is low opposition to the flow of current is low whereas for good conductors the value of resistivity will be high that means the opposition to the flow of current resistance is high let us talk about a numerical on the same the resistance of a 5 meter or length of wire is 600 ohm determine the resistance of an 8 meter length of the same wire the length of the same wire when resistance is 420 ohm so first of all the relationship is given that the resistance of 5 meter length of wire is 600 ohm as we have already discussed resistance is directly proportional to length let us assume the proportionality constant k so k comes out to be 120 i told you earlier that the proportionality constant will have the same value for the same length sorry for the same material of the conductor now let us talk about the numerical we need to calculate the value of resistance when length is 8 meter so that means r is equal to kl comes out to be 960 ohm in b part the value of resistance is given we need to calculate the length so length comes out to be 420 by k which is 3.5 meters let us talk about another numerical determine the resistivity of 1200 meter of copper cable having a diameter of 12 mm if the resistivity of copper is given as 1.7 into 10 raised to power of minus 8 ohm meter now first of all we know the formula r is equal to rho l by a rho is given to us length is also given to us but area is not available so first of all we need to calculate the area so the cross sectional area of a cable comes out to be pi r square the diameter is 12 mm so what will be the value of resistance diameter divided by 2 so pi r square now the diameter is given in mm so we need to convert millimeters into meters that is 10 raised to power of minus 3 as this is square so it comes out to be 10 raised to power of minus 6 substituting all the values in the given formula rho l a the answer comes out to be 0.180 ohm the next topic is what is a capacitor and what is a capacitance a capacitor is an electrical device that is used to store electric energy basically we use a capacitor to store the energy now i hope you all must have already studied about the capacitors and the capacitance in your previous classes in your board examination classes when we have the two parallel plate having one of positive charge let us assume plus q and the second will have negative charge of the same value minus q coulombs then they are separated with a distance of small d then the voltage is going to be built up 
in between these two parallel plates and this property is known as capacitance the capacitance is given as q by v where q is the charge and v is the potential the unit of capacitance is farad denoted by capital f the devices specially constructed to pose this capacitance are known as capacitors so dielectric what is dielectric as i told you earlier that there is a distance between both the parallel plates so there is some substance which is going to be filled in between these two parallel plates that is known as dielectric this is the symbol of a capacitor two parallel plates connected together with a distance if we are going to have a arrow in between that that is known as variable capacitor the same thing that we have already discussed for a resistor so q is equal to i into t this is the charge where i is the current in amperes and t is the time period in seconds a 5 microfarad capacitor is charged so that the potential difference between its placed plates is 800 volt calculate how long the capacitor can provide an average discharge current of 2 milliampere so first of all capacitance is given 5 microfarad so how to convert microfarad into farad 10 raised to power of minus 6 voltage is given 800 volt current is also given to us 2 milliampere so the formula is q is equal to cd so first of all we need to calculate the value of q that is charge also we know that q is equal to i into t ultimately we need to calculate the time period that means how long so the time period comes out to be q by i which is 2 second hence the capacitor can provide an average discharge current of 2 milliamperes for 2 seconds what is the value of energy which is going to be stored in a capacitor so the formula is half cv square the unit is joules inductance so what is inductance inductance is the name given to the property of a circuit whereby there is an emf induced into the circuit by the change of flux linkages so basically there are two types of inductances the first is self inductance and the second is mutual inductance self inductance is going to be induced in the same circuit as the current is going to change whereas the mutual inductance is going to have the flux change when two adjacent circuits are available the current is going to change in the first circuit with respect to that the flux is going to change in the another circuit that is known as mutual inductance the phenomena of mutual inductance is used in the working of transformers the unit of inductance is henry capital h so this is an example you can see it over here mutual inductance so if the current is going to change in this winding the change in flux is going to be there now how to calculate the emf induced the formula is e is equal to minus n d5 by dt where n is the number of turns in the coil d5 by dt is change in flux given by weber per time induced emf in a coil of inductance l now if the value of inductance l is given to us how to calculate the value of induced emf the formula is e is equal to minus l di by dt where l is the inductance given in henry di by dt is the change in current with respect to time also inductor l is equal to n5 by i this is from the basics of inductance that you must have studied in your physics classes now the there is a numerical calculate 
the emf induced in a coil of inductance 12 henry by a current changing at the rate of 4 ampere per second now that means di by dt is already given to us that is 4 inductor value inductance l is also given 12 henry so the indu induced emf comes out to be minus 48 volts in the same manner we have energy stored in inductor as well what is the value of energy which is going to be stored in the inductor so the formula is half l i square thank you so much